Hello everyone, this is Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com and today we're going to make our buttons work. The buttons that we put into our fading images slideshow, they are going to actually work. So as we see, we have our three buttons here, which span the entire movie, but now we're going to make them actually do things. So the, in order to do that, we're in our properties panel right now. Make sure you're on player 10.2 and script, action script 2.0. So let's go to actions and let's move this in real far because we're going to be doing with this stuff so make sure you can see this screen pretty well and this screen pretty well so the first thing we're going to do is click our pause button and we're going to make it so that when we click that it pauses the timeline so in order to do that click the plus button go to global functions go to movie click controls and click on now double click press click inside the brackets go plus global functions timeline controls stop so what did we just make? We just made it so that when you press this button, it will stop. It's as simple as that. So now what we are going to do is we're going to make it so that when we click these next buttons, it goes to the next images. So in order to do that, let's think a little bit. If we were on the first image, if we want to skip to the next image, that means when we press it, we want to come to frame 30. Because if we're in the first image and we want to see where the next image starts, we'd want to go to the next image of frame 30. So let's click frame 30, and let's insert a keyframe. And then if you're looking at the lion picture and you want to see the next picture, you'd want to see the beginning of the cheetah picture. So at frame 60, insert a keyframe. Uh, let's see if I can get that. Insert a keyframe. So now you're on the cheetah picture, and if you want to go to the next picture, you're going to want to see the snow leopard picture. So insert a keyframe at frame 90. And then for the last one, if you see the snow leopard, you're going to want to go back to the tiger image, which is at frame 1. So we don't need to insert a keyframe at frame 1 because we're already there. So now let's insert the functions for our previous and next buttons. So now when we click this buttons layer, everything is selected. So select out of it and click the right and go plus global functions, movie clip controls on, and let's go press and click inside the brackets plus global functions movie clip controls and oh sorry timeline controls and say go to and play and type in frame 30 so now it will go to and play frame 30 so now what we want to do is we want to highlight this and copy it and let's make the same stuff for the previous button so let's highlight this previous button and let's think if we just saw the tiger image the one that came before the tiger image would be the snow leopard image. So that started on frame 90. So now we're going to want to go to and play at frame 90. So click frame 1, click your previous button, paste in that code, and change this to frame 90. So let's preview this and see that everything is working out. So let's do a publish preview in Flash. And when it starts, if we click this next button, it immediately goes to lions. And if we click pause, it immediately pauses. So let's do this for all of our things. So we're going to fly along now. So in frame 30, we need to do the next and the previous buttons. So click off and then click the next button. So we're going to want to go to frame 60. So click in here, paste it in, and change this to frame 60. And then let's do the previous button. So click the previous button paste it in and we're going to want to go back to frame one that is when the previous image showed that's the image that they are going to see so let's click that previous button and let's change this to frame one so now we are going to check if there's any compiler errors okay there are no compiler errors so now we're going to go to frame 60 and we're going to click our next button so make sure just the next button is selected paste it in and if we're on frame 60 we're going to want to go to frame 90 so highlight this go to frame 90 and for our previous button paste it in if we're on 60 we would want them to go back to 30 so just change this to 30 oh it's already 30 so it's as simple as that so on the last one frame 90 click frame 90 click your next button paste it in and then let's change this if you're on frame 90 you're going to want to go back to frame 1 to see the first image so highlight this and change this to 1 and then let's make this one the um, from frame 90 make it go back to frame 60 so paste it in 
change this to 60, click the check mark, make sure there's no compiler errors, and go back to your timeline. So we are all done. So let's file, publish preview this, and preview it in Flash. So as you can see, when we click our next buttons, we go to our next images. We let go, and it will go to and play, so it will continue to play. And if we click pause, then it will pause the slideshow. And we can still skim through it like this. So you can do something, you can add a play button if you like, or something like that, but um, this is basically how you incorporate buttons. So the next tutorial, we are going to learn how to make a nice hover effect so that when people hover over these buttons, they change color so that people know that they are hovering over a button. So thank you for watching. This has been Christopher Carrington with GMUstudent.com, and stay tuned for the next tutorial.